Hi everyone, it's Cars Guide Do It Yourself. Today I'm going to show you how to replace front brake pads and discs in Opel Vauxhall Astra J and Insignia 2 liter CVTI engine. And you can do it at home using all common tools. Really, I will show you how to handle with it, so stay with us. Ok, chuck off rear wheels so your car won't move. Before we raise up front of the car, loosen front wheel nuts. Now we can jack up front of the car, then put jack stamp underneath. Slowly drop car down, unscrew nuts rest of the way and for extra safety put the wheel under the car. Take a look at this, brake pads are totally worn out, same thing with brake disc. To take off brake caliper we have to unscrew two bolts behind it. Over here, 10mm socket will do the job. Now we have to compress the brake caliper piston. We have to grab behind and pull towards outside the car. And brake caliper is free. We don't want the caliper to just dangle by the brake line and disturb in other works, so instead we want to find the right place, take some wire and tie them to suspension spring. After we unscrew these two bolts, we will be able to remove brake carrier out. Use 21mm socket and breaker bar. Break free those two bolts and unscrew it rest of the way. Brake carrier is free. Now we can take out old brake pads. Guide pins moves fine, but anyway we will replace grease inside. Compare old brake pads with new. Huge difference. To release brake disc, just unscrew this small Torx head screw and take it out. Look at this old brake disc comparing to new one. Ok, so we can start to clean everything, remove brake pads holder bracket, using metal wire brush remove rust, dirt and grime and if necessary use metal file. Remove guide pin and wipe it, apply fresh guide pin grease. The top guide pin has got rubber element on it to reduce vibrations, so again, wipe it and apply fresh guide pin grease, then put it back on place. Now we can put brake anti-seized grease on place where brake carrier meets brake pads holder brackets. and install brake pads holder brackets. Before we compress brake piston check under rubber dust cover if it's rust free. Looks ok, now moisten towel and remove all the acid brake dust. Remember, clean dust cover will last longer. Now compress in brake piston, to do that you can use an expensive tool, special for this job. Time to clean wheel hub, wash it with brake cleaner, wipe it and if necessary use metal wire brush to remove corrosion. After that we can put on very thin layer of brake anti seized grease to prevent rusting and prevent corrosion between brake disc and wheel hub. Alright good, take a clean towel and brake cleaner and clean brake disc from both sides. Ok we can install it, slide the brake disc on wheel hub and tighten it with Torx head screw. On brake carrier bolts there was medium strain thread locker, so we will add it small amount too. Install brake carrier, tighten two bolts, 
150 newton meters torque will be enough. More information about tightening torques and grease that I use in this video you will find in video description. To prevent squeaks I will add grease on brake caliper where he meets pads. Insert new brake pads, remember to keep the right order. This brake pad goes outside. And this one goes to brake caliper piston. Remove the wire and put brake caliper on place. Tighten guide pin bolts with 28 newton meter torque. Now go inside the car and press brake pedal a couple times to remove clearance between brake pads and disc. Ok, final inspection and it looks really good. Put wheel back on and tighten all wheel bolts with 140 newton meters torque. If you like it, thumbs up and subscribe. Job done! Thanks for watching!